my name is Maria and I'm the developer advocate at BotCube. And today we'll be talking about how BotCube can empower your developer productivity with their new Argo CD integration. Just a little bit about me. I'm a developer advocate at CubeShop and I work on the BotCube project. And BotCube is a continuous, is a collaborative Kubernetes troubleshooting tool. Um, I have a background in industrial systems engineering, which will come into play a little bit in this talk. Um, I also have a background in software engineering and developer relations. So I just want to make sure everybody's on the same page about what GitOps is. Maybe you clicked on this by accident and you have no idea what GitOps is, but just a quick refresher. GitOps is an operational framework um, that came from DevOps, and it's based on four main principles that it's declarative, that um, it's versioned and immutable, it's continuously reconciled, and um, it's, the apps are pulled automatically. So that's all you need to know for this talk. <laughs> so here are some organizational challenges of working with GitOps. Like anything in the cloud native landscape, it's going to be very complex. And because of that complexity, it's very difficult to audit and get to the source of a lot of these issues. Because if you have multiple layers of complexity and people having access to different things, it can be very challenging to find the root cause of a lot of your issues. So it can be very difficult to um, troubleshoot quickly and get back up and running. Additionally, it can be very challenging to scale. So um, Argo and GitOps and all of these tools require um, a lot of technical expertise, so it can be very difficult to scale. Um, and it requires um, a lot of technical requirements for every, um, every workflow that you build. So it can be very challenging to scale for the average engineering team. And alerting and monitoring can be challenging as well. So if you, it's, if you don't have a good setup, um, it can very it can be very challenging to filter those alerts. So not everybody needs the same types of alerts. Um, it can be very challenging to get the right right amount of information at the right time. And this goes along with the last challenge about context switching. So a lot of times people are using these GitOps tools in tandem with um, a tool like GitOp, <laughs> GitHub, or um, GitLab. And most of the time, um, the communication is not solely in GitHub, GitHub. so um, it's, you're required to go back and forth to get any sort of proper alerting, or when you're managing um, issues, you have to go back and forth between GitHub, your communication platform tool to check on your team, and whatever um, workflow you have, whether you're on-prem or working um, with one of the cloud providers. So here are some of the challenges. And the core of our presentation, um, developer productivity. And at its core, it just means that it's developer productivity just means efficiency and effectiveness um, where develop, software developers accomplish their tasks and contribute to the development process. So just measuring um, the output of developers in short. So how do we measure it? Um, there's lots of different ways you can measure it, but for the sake of this talk, we're going to be measuring it based on three different criteria. Number one is deployment frequency, which just means how often is code deployed to production. And this can be um, representative of the health of the engineering team. So if you're able to have faster releases, um, it typically means that you have a good um, CI CD pipeline and CI CD process. Additionally, your mean time to recover. Um, so it's the average time it takes to recover from a failure or an outage. Um, and if you have a shorter mean time to recovery, it usually means that your team is more resilient, more reliable, and more dynamic. Um, and then lastly, your lead slash cycle time. So how much time it takes to go from um, the beginning of a task to the completion. So um, in our team, it's like measuring sprint cycles. So how long does it take? How many man days does it take to get a new feature out to fix bugs and all that sort of thing? Here's the current state of things. Um, after working in this space for the past two years and talking to a lot of developers, I mean, everybody knows that Kubernetes is very complex, but then when you add an additional layer of GitOps frameworks and having to follow um, 
and use different tools, it can be very challenging for the average app developer who just wants to make sure their apps are healthy. So when you add all this extra load, and frequently most of these um, companies don't just use like Kubernetes bare metal or Argo bare metal, it's usually in tandem with multiple different tools. Maybe you're using Argo and Helm, um, maybe you're using, you know, Prometheus, Helm, and Argo, or maybe you're using, you know, um, AKS um, and EC2 all in one place. So it can be very challenging. Like, I feel like the, the this tech stack just gets longer and longer. So there needs to be um, a solution for developers who are just really just trying to keep their apps up and running. And then also for the platform engineering side of like, what happens when, you are your team is not as available do your developers understand what the work that you're doing so like what does that communication look like so when you add complexity it's very communication tends to break down so this is where um, argo cd comes in so uh in short um argo cd is a declarative GitOps continuous delivery tool um it allows um devops professionals to simplify and automate their deployment processes. Um, it's really great because you have this nice UI that you can visualize the health of your apps. And it really um, helps reduce um, errors by being able to visualize um, what's going on in your infrastructure. And it helps um, simplify um, different deployments. So that's just Argo CD at its core. And what is Bocube and how does it help teams improve developer productivity? So Bocube is a troubleshooting, um, Kubernetes troubleshooting and monitoring tool that allows de developer teams to work more efficiently. And how it does that is by allowing you to act, to receive and act on your events in the same communication platform. So um, you're able to use Bocube in tools like Slack, Microsoft Teams, Discord, and Mattermost, and you're able to have um, an insight to that process without having to, your troubleshooting process without having to context switch. So you're able to collaborate with your team and give everybody the same amount of context that needs it. So you're able to filter your alerts, um, you're able to run automations and have an insight to what's going on in your cluster without having to be a Kubernetes expert, to, to, without everybody having to have the same um, you know, open access to the cluster. You can have it in a gated environment where people can just watch notifications. Um, and it's really great for um, reducing manual processes because, um, and I'll talk about it a little bit more later, it allows you to audit. So you're able to you know, continuously improve on um, different steps that you do over and over again when you run into the same amount of problems. So just um, more of an overview. Um, so I talked about how you can receive and act. So um, BACQ is split um, via source and executor plugin. So what this means is these source plugins, so a source plugin can be like Kubernetes events, Prometheus, and it watches all these alerts and hooks it right into your communication platform tool. And then the executor side is allows you to act on those, uh, um, those alerts that you get. So one great example of working in tandem, let's say you're using the Argo CD source plugin um, and you see you see an issue, you're able to act on that alert by easily running a kube control command all within your same Slack platform without ever having to um, change context and switch screens. And through the audit log that I mentioned briefly, you're able to see all that information in one place and um, get an insight on the performance of your team and who's doing what and having access to your um, cluster at all times. So how they work together. So um, without Bocube, um, Argo's autom um, notification setup can be a little clunky and a little um, hard to get set up if you're not super familiar with the Argo ecosystem. So what Bocube does is help simplify that process. It helps um, simplify the configuration. So making configuration changes, um, you're able to access the Argo CD UI right from your communication platform tool. You can um, filter your notifications much, um, much more easily. So you can divide by channel. So for example, your front end channel does not need to see the same level of Argo CD um, alerts as your backend channel. 
and it allows um, developers who may not be as Kubernetes native or Argo CD native to still um, get the information that they need to um, keep their apps healthy. So here is an example of what the um, plugin looks like in Slack. So it'll show you um, that a, like an app an app has been created. It'll show you um, like the the sync status, and it'll tell you it'll keep you updated on the health of your app um, without you having to touch anything. So then you can either open the repository or view the UI or run commands directly against that app. So this really streamlines a lot of the manual steps that go on in um, building Argo CD pip pipelines, and it gives everybody in your engineering team, regardless of their Kubernetes expertise, access to the information that they need to solve problems quickly. And I think visibility is super important, and that's what mainly improves developer productivity. What you see, you can act on. So um, a lot of times developers get bogged down by things that they don't understand. So they get lost in the weeds um, and BotCube kind of helps shine a, a shining light onto that deployment process. So they can just focus on, you know, getting their apps deployed and building interesting code. So in conclusion, um, BotCube's Argo CD plugin can help revolutionize your or organizational efficiency. So it can really streamline your um, deployment process by helping developers, uh, you know, stay on track and stay um, up to date on like all of their Kubernetes notifications without being overwhelmed. And um, it kind of follows the belief that software tools should enhance, not hinder productivity. So. Um, when you have this ever-growing tech stack, it can be more of a hindrance than a help. So with tools like BotCube can help simplify it and help you um, work with those tools in tandem. And then finally, um, by adding automation, you're able to focus on innovation and not just your deployment complexities. So I'm going to get started with the demo. So here we are at our Argo CD demo. We have a application guestbook that we created for this demo. You're able to run a cube control get and a cube control describe. So you're able to see the health status of your application. And then if you want to see more information, you can um, have the describe log right in your um, Slack channel. If we want, we can open the repository just to see all of the different template apps. So that's really great for easily navigating different steps of your troubleshooting process. Next, if you'd like, you can um, view it directly in the Argo CD UI. And there you can get that visualization that I talked about earlier in the presentation. Um, you can sync up your apps and just start getting um, playing around in the um, Argo CD um, UI and here we're going to play around with what those different changes can look like in Slack. Okay, so you see that we have a guest app, guest, our guestbook app has been successfully synced. So let's also see what happens when we do um, some sort of uh, error. And what we're going to do is we're going to see, okay, that we have a pod error. And then we're going to delete it. We're going to delete our pod and see what happens in our Slack channel. So like, let's let that sync. All right. So we have a new version of our app up and running and that works instantaneously. So this is great for when you have um, issues and you can see that you're both working on um, your, um, your cube control and your Argo CD all at the same time. And that's part of that you know, interoperability and it gives you insight on all the errors that occur. So that is the gist of the Argo CA app, and then you can easily delete your app guestbook, which I'll do right now. 
and then go back to Slack and it says it's been deleted. All right, perfect. Get started with the demo. Great, thank you so much for watching um, my talk and listening to my talk. You can scan this QR code to get started with BotCube today. Um, it's free, you can get started. Uh, and we work with Slack, Microsoft Teams, Discord, and Mattermost. You can use it on-prem or with any of the cloud providers. Um, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to me in the BotCube Slack or on Twitter. And yeah, thank you so much for your time. And I hope you guys stay productive.